Hi everyone, sorry it's been a while since I made a video, I've uh, been getting through Christmas, I've uh, been going through like a little bit of January blues which we all get. Um, I think it's because of the weather, especially here in England, it's like pretty miserable during January. Um, and because of Christmas, which is an amazing thing by the way, I used to hate Christmas but now I think Christmas is an amazing thing because everybody's nice to each other. Yes, it should be every day, everyone should be nice to each other constantly, but at least there's still a time of the year when everybody stops what they're doing and um, starts being nice to each other, which is amazing for mental health. Uh, but I want to quickly talk a little bit about uh, January blues and the depression at this time of year, because I see a lot of people walking around with their heads down, uh, very depressed. Um, some advice I would give for this is maybe is, um, just put yourself in the present moment more, you know, like... Do something you like doing, even if it's something simple like making a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Uh, sit down, uh, fully experience the feeling of the coffee in your hand. Um, um, really enjoy the little things in life at this time of year because there's not much going on. Um, when you go out, everything's pretty much like dead, basically. Like especially here in England, there's not many people out in January. It's too cold, and um, especially this time, these times with the the new variants of the so-called virus out there um so it's a pretty pretty dismal time probably one of the most dismal times of my existence and i've been here for 40 years so um so so i think it's important for your mental health to just basically accept what's going on um if you've got a dog take her out like i'll, I'll take a little puppy out don't i yeah um, if you don't have pets, do what you love doing, just like literally anything, even if you go out somewhere and have a cup of coffee, it might be it might be quiet, but at least you can enjoy sitting with your cup of coffee and just, just watching the world go by, okay? Uh, Realise, um, try and speak to people if someone's looking down, just go and cheer them up, maybe it's, um, say something nice to them, compliment them, whatever. Because whatever you put out there in this universe, you get back. That's one of the main laws of the universe. But also everything changes. So so as we go into the springtime, which is two or three months time, everything will change again. And, um, and that's one thing you have to realize in this reality is that everything's always changing. Like if you're feeling really low and depressed one day, like in, in a few months time, you're going to be on a totally different dynamic and that depression might not be there anymore okay you might move on to something different you might move on to something you love doing you might meet some new people in your life etc um but but the change process never ends that's one of the main laws of the universe and you can always rely on the law of change if you're having a bad time because eventually with time time is a great healer it'll just pass so um so yeah in this channel i'm gonna kind of focus on a lot of mental health things uh because I think that's better than my old channel, which was basically about spiritual development and enlightenment. And some of the things I was teaching in there um, weren't quite sinking in to a lot of people. So I didn't really get a very big audience because it's a very limited audience um, are ready for those type of teachings. And I realized that um, sometimes you kind of tell people how things work in this reality. Okay, You've just got to let them figure it out for themselves. And one of the main ways in which they figure it out for themselves is is mental health issues, okay? So you have to really go through a lot of depression and mental health usually before you can like kind of see its opposite, which is the appreciation and the joy of living. Um, and this is inev inevitable for most people, okay? Most people are gonna go through some kind of depression or anxiety or loss in their life, um, illness, things like that at some point in their life. And um, I basically wanna start helping people through those times, okay? Uh, I've got a lot of mental health issues. I've got like psychosis, I've got ADHD, I've got depression, anxiety. Uh, I've got a form of ME where I have very little energy sometimes. So I know all too well how, what it's like dealing with these mental conditions. And I've also been through a lot of heartache in my life and pain and loss, okay? Like I lost my mother not so long ago. Um, I don't speak to, to, to much of my family. I don't have any family here in England hardly. So it's basically just me and my partner um, and the, the, the dogs and that's it. That's all I have. So all I have to go on is to, to like basically go out and maybe talk to you guys on videos and just 
try and help people because that's my purpose. That's what I feel like I'm here to do. Enjoy my life, try and help people, try and give love as much as I can because whatever you give out, you get back anyway. Um, so I would advise trying that yourselves, guys. And, um, and remember that January is the worst time. So if you're going through a hard time at the moment, don't worry, it'll pass. Um, it can be very, very challenging if you've got mental health issues as well, such as ADHD or, or depression or bipolar, things like this. Um, because sometimes this can create issues in your mind that are very hard to deal with, um, which I'm going to go into in future videos. I'm going to go into all the dynamics of ADHD, the dynamics of depression, anxiety, so that you guys can kind of understand these mental conditions from a more a more advanced view okay because let's face it a lot of the um a, a lot of the the, the so-called psychologists out there or the psychiatrists the counselors etc um a lot of them haven't even been through these conditions okay so they're just basically reading off a textbook and some of these textbooks that they've been taught from have been around for generations and they're no longer valid in the mental health um paradigm of, of reality you see because um because they haven't been through these experiences enough to understand the dynamics and, and what really helps with mental health conditions, which is not so much medication, okay? Although there is some medication that can help, especially with ADHD, things like stimulants, things like that can help a great deal. Um, but a lot of the antidepressants and, 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 and other drugs they give you for, for mental health issues don't, don't help at all, they just make you worse. And it's this perpetual um, kind of cycle of negativity that, that, that's very, very hard to come out of. So. I want to I want to try and help people with things like that. I want to like um, guide people through many different type, types of mental illness because I've been through many different types. And uh, yeah, that's my aim for the future videos, guys. So if you know anyone who uh, who, who might benefit, who's struggling with the mental health, um, please pass on my channel to them. I've changed the channel to Next Level Mental Health instead of Next Level. Um, what was it before? I can't remember, but anyway, I've changed the channel to Next Level Mental Health uh, and that's basically what I want to focus on, guys. So, so I appreciate you for watching this video. I don't have many followers at the moment, but I appreciate who I have got um, and hopefully the channel will grow. Um, so, so yeah, please like the video for us, help it go up there in the algorithm and uh, comment as well. Uh, comment on, on how you deal with depression during January and, and things you've done to kind of counteract the January blues because I'll be interested in hearing uh, how you do it as well um, but yeah but thanks for listening guys that's it for this video I'll be back shortly with another video soon please stay in touch sorry stay uh, <laughs> what's the word it's, my mind goes blank sometimes because of the ADHD this is one thing about ADHD sometimes you have these blank moments you'll be saying something and all of a sudden your mind will just go blank and you'll be like what was I doing again <laughs> this happens quite often so um so yeah stay tuned guys and I'll see you on the next video